Can we take a selfie? This robot might be happy to take a selfie with you, but it has a much more serious side. The ability to do concealed weapon detection, to actually know that someone's carrying a firearm in an area where they shouldn't be. Designed for security and surveillance, these robots autonomously monitor indoor and outdoor areas for potential threats. This is the K1. It's a stationary robot that has weapons detection. It uses the same millimeter wave technology that's used at airports through TSA security, so it can tell the size and shape of weapons. The 150 pound K1 can also be configured to detect radiation. It's expected to be used at airports, including luggage collection areas and healthcare facilities. For more rugged terrain like gravel at locations such as oil rigs and wind farms, there's the 770 pound K7. The machine has holonomic steering. Uh, so a very simple way to explain that is that the machine can move like uh, a crab. So it can turn on its own axis and also go sideways. All the robots collect and process data from a range of sensors including sonar, lidar, thermal imaging and traditional cameras. Companies monitor the activity then implement security measures if needed. In 2018, Nightscope will add a feature called Audio Event Detection. It says will help security guards more accurately locate the scene of a crime. The opposite of voice recognition. Can you tell me um, all the little intricacies of the environment and not focus on just the voice of what's happening? So if you heard footsteps, can you learn what a footstep sounds like? Previous bots have suffered some crossed wires, with the K5 driving itself into a fountain and in 2016 running into a child at a mall. Nightscope's hoping these new real-life Robocops will be the ideal partners to fight crime. In Mountain View, California, Lexi Savides, CNET.com for CBS News.